if we come to sleep, we are as drowsy ones. And if we come to wake, we are in his hands. If we come to weeping, we are his cloud full of raindrops. And if we come to laughing, we are his lightning in that moment. If we come to anger and battle, it is the reflection of his wrath. And if we come to peace and pardon, it is the reflection of his love. Who are we in this complicated world? Can a shadow ever do anything different than what its maker does? The answer is obviously no. The shadow will always reflect what its maker does. If you raise your arm, your shadow will raise an arm. If you stretch a leg, your shadow will stretch a leg. And similarly, we are like a shadow to our maker. Our true identity is just a reflection of source. Our human existence is only a mirror reflecting our highest self or source. So it is pointless for us to try to create an identity in this world that is separate from source. Just like it is pointless for us to debate whether or not the shadow will one day become something different than its maker. Many Buddhist teachings describe this as non-duality. And the Rumi seem to have believed or at least entertained the same notion that we are not really separate from our source. Rather, it is our mind as controlled by the ego which has instilled in us this belief that we are something and someone different. Most of us spend years trying to figure out who we are, wearing multiple masks or identities, and experiencing incredible highs and lows as a result of these constantly changing identities. We can be a daughter one day and a mother the next. We can be a teacher one day and the student the next. So who are we really? Because in truth, our essence never changes, even though our identities do. If our essence is water, it does not matter if you pour that water into a cup, a glass, a picture, a pot, or anything else. The outer layers will always change, but the inner one never does. So what is the wisdom we can gather from this poem? The wisdom is that we should stop searching for containers to hold our water, and instead discover our water inside. We should stop searching this outside world for an identity and search deep within to truly discover it. Because only when we have left this complicated and noisy world that pushes us to be someone, will we arrive at the core of our being and recognize what our shadow has been reflecting all this time.